Blackout 650 Gaming here, and welcome back to PC Building Simulator. So, been a little bit. Um, there's been, of course, some update, or possibly updates. Not really sure. However, really quick, as I do in these videos, um, I'm gonna run through the change log as quickly as I possibly can. So, we got new monitors, that's probably the new peripherals thing, but, you know, monitors specifically. Um, the DFL Extra Vision White Edition, Blue Edition, uh, Pink Edition, Silver Edition, and Gold Edition. Uh, new keyboard, the Mortoni Comfort Type Gold Edition. New mouse, Mortoni Smooth Point Gold Edition. New cases, Corsair Crystal Series 2800, or, nope, 280 XRGB, Corsair Obsidian Series 900D, and Corsair, wait, no, I missed some stuff there. Uh, Corsair Carbide Series Spec Delta RGB, uh, Corsair Obsidian Series 1000D, and Corsair Carbide Spec 06 RGB 28 is not relevant. Forget about the 28. All right, we got new motherboards. Uh, Gigabyte B360 Aorus Gaming 3, Gigabyte B450 Aorus M, uh, Gigabyte B360 M Aorus Gaming 3, Gigabyte H370 Aorus Gaming 3. We have the new GPU, the AMD Radeon 567, <laughs> VII 7, um, a new CPU cooler, I'm pretty sure that was right anyway, uh, the Rajentech Orcus 360RBW, uh, 280RBW, and 140RBW, and 120RBW, a new case fans, we're not really interested in that, alright, new radiators, Rajnik, Rajentech, whatever it is. Calorie, cal calorie, C A L O R E, whatever. C three sixty D and C two forty D. New fittings, same company, Peleus R G B fitting. Uh, career mode balance changes, rebalance the parts, uh, budget and career jobs to give more freedom. Reduce the use of benchmarking that are career jobs. Add more variety to diagnose jobs. Add some extra desktop images to the wallpaper. App. Uh, allow swapping of monitors in the workshop, uh, allow, uh, added credits button to the option menu, fixed a bug that stopped the installation of GPUs in the fractal design node 202 case, fixed an issue that caused vertical GPU riser cables to be counted toward cable objectives. This could cause lower star results than expected. Fixing an issue with the GPU cable would not appear in the Thermaltake Core P5 when using an ITX motherboard. Fixed an issue that caused the EKWBEK Coolstream SE240 RGB and 360 RGB fans to be on regardless of if the PC was powered on, adjusted the model size of the deep cool Gamax C40 cooler so that it better reflected its real size and it stops clipping through the side panel in some cases if it's an issue where, uh, fix an issue that could block the PCI lock from closing on the dead cooler Earl Cass RGB WH case, fixed GPU power cables routing in the cooler master makes at the master box 5 to reduce clipping, fixed the missing icons in the pipe bending UI. Adjusted the maximum zoom out camera amount for better visibility on super tower cases. Adjusted the maximum zoom out uh, for that's I'm reading the same one twice. Improved cable routing in various cases to reduce the chance of clipping issues. Further improvements of the logic of various achievements to help with them unlocking correctly. Fixed incorrect game name in irregular corporation job line and various string improvements in all localized languages. <sighs> so there you go. That's the full change log. Whew. So, real quick, let's put in a different monitor. Um, I don't know. The gold one, sure, why not? Ooh. Great. And we got a new keyboard, that which we're not going to use. Also, not that. Well, there you go. But, I've also got some things to do. Yoink. Alright, so I made an upgrade to my computer. Um, is that just stuck saying 55 then? Alright. So, uh, fairly simple. Uh, new motherboard. Uh, same RAM. Uh, new processor. So, we'll just run through that real quick. I'll probably remember that's what that was. Open. Alright, open. Whatever. Uh, well, we gotta empty this. Cool. Uh, remove the tube. 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 Stop it. Yoink. Yoink. And good old fashioned yoink. 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 
Yoink, yoink. I didn't mean to give her that line. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Yark, spark, snark, yerp, yep. oops, shit. All right. Yeah, come on. Anybody else? Nope. Good. <sighs> Okay. And now we put stuff back in. Alright. Uh, none of that, though. Uh, we want motherboards. And X470. Kill. They don't have the one I have, but I almost bought this one. But I specifically didn't want one with, our, um, with Wi-Fi. Because I have no use for a motherboard with Wi-Fi. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty close. I don't have that, and I don't have that heat pipe there, and you can't see any fins on the heat sinks. Darn. Well, anyway. Um, I'm using those two. I don't actually know which ones are the correct ones, but that's what I'm using. Ow. All right. Um, okay. Now we need CPU. No, that's right. Okay. Stop it. I have the 2700X 50th Anniversary Edition. Right, just want to double check. Block. I said block. Cool. Um, put some goo on there. And we got some water cooling. And it's blue block. Ooh, isn't that fancy? Anyway, spork that onto there. We'll run the tubes again. Um, pipes, simple, clear, flexible pipe, and um, simple nickel. Nice. Okay. So let's see. I'm so happy the dogs decide to start making noise now. Um, does that say out? It's, yes, it does. Okay. And then, uh, don't think that's labeled. So from you to you. All right. Screw you. You to you then. From you up to. Actually, I have mine going to there. All right, and then from you over to you. Ta-da. Simple. Forgot to put the RAM in. Whatever. Uh, it's not under radiators, though. Um, memory. Uh, team group. Team group T-Force. It's mm, this one. Only... Eight gigabytes, three thousand megahertz. Sorry. Uh, nope. Okay. Cool. Got all the RAM in there. Uh, need the graphics card back. I should also put the fluid in there, I suppose. But eh, you know, whatever. Ten eighty. Uh. Uh. That's the one, probably. Well. I think that's the one I had in this computer. It's not actually accurate. I did not, however, put in the uh, M.2 SSD, so... Shit. Try that again. Actually, it has a neat little shield over it, but whatever. Storage, 240GB M.2 SSD. I just went with the Corsair before, and we'll stick with Corsair. Which is totally clipping through that, but whatever. 1080. Go down. That's the one. Blork. Right. Cool. Close that. Put the goo in. It's actually pretty much just distilled water, but you know, goo sounds like more fun. And it's the same stuff. Because I didn't even take the loop apart. Put mother bird in brush history, and apparently I'm talking about these now. Alright, cool. Is there an HDMI port on the side of this case? And the USB ports? That's weird. This case is weird. And a Type-C. <laughs> I am thinking about getting a new case, but... I don't know. Alright, I probably took something off I didn't mean to take off, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Here's a side panel. Here's a different side panel. Merry Holidays. Anything else? Oh, the beauty panel. Shit. Let's just leave it off, it's fine. 
And uh, no OS install for us. All right, so, so we'll get this in there and then we'll install the crap and we'll see what I'm supposed to be getting and then I'll complain. Ooh, made it, sweet. All right, um, RAM, hi, XMP, brings it right up to 3000 megahertz, perfect, great, woohoo. Apply changes and restart, yep. Do, 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 do. And walk Jeebus! That was immensely loud. If you would kindly go to hell, that'd be great. Okay. So, what is this? What, what, what is this white part here? Alright, whatever. Uh, system info, to make sure nothing explodes. 3 mark, so I can find out if anything explodes. Lighting. Music player. GPU tuner. Select wallpaper. And restart. Man, that's sh still sure is loud as fuck, huh? There we go. Okay, cool. So, first off, select wallpaper. Uh, that's what it is right now, apparently. Cool. Wow. Um... That is a terrible wallpaper, as now I can barely see anything. But it's fine. Um, let's get this going. Cool. And... We can turn on the music, I guess. And 3D Mark. And run. So, I know that I definitely get a higher frame rate than that. But whatever. Nothing's too hot. Everything seems to be perfectly fine. 178 watts. Kill. Cool. Good temperature is about 60 degrees Celsius. Mine actually runs a little bit cooler than that, but whatever. That's fine. There might be a reason for that, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, so that can just continue doing its thing. Alright. Then I got these two things. We got the Intel and the AMD. Is this, uh, no, it's Ryzen 7, oh, 8 core 2700X, nice. And the twin 1080 Ti's, they are, this one's got the i9-9900K, and twin 2080's, oh, this is 2080's as well, it's 2080 Ti Extreme, whereas this is 2080 Ti Extreme, water force though. So is this one better since it's 2962? Oh, I didn't run it on this one. Hmm. Are you done yet? No. Crap. Are, uh, any better headphones? No. Okay, cool. Wow. Look at that building. Wow. Wow. Wait, does this have a screen on the side? That's cool. I could probably actually do something like that. I have a, a, a little touch screen. Massive pain in the ass to get it to work though. A7828. Alright. I believe that is an improvement. But I don't remember what it said. Well, brain? Don't remember what it said before. Um, let's check my phone here. Because I still have the uh, scores from actual computers on there. That's not it. Um, there we go. As of May 20th, 2019, with the Ryzen 1700 4GHz and an X370 motherboard 3000MHz RAM, yada yada yada, it got, oh, well my real computer got 7994. And then, when I put the new motherboard in, but didn't overclock the RAM or the graphics card, I, mean, I still had the 1700 in it, I got 7,483, and then I don't have a, uh, a score marked for the Ryzen 2700X and the X470 because I can't overclock the RAM. My RAM in my computer is currently stuck. It is currently stuck at 2133 megahertz. So let's go... 
Let's just take a look at how that score changes. Turn XMP off and turn this down. Okay. Well, F10 doesn't actually uh, do anything in the game. I forgot about that. Start this up, run. Uh, oh, that's a much better background run. Run 3D Mark again. We'll see if that makes a difference. Let's power this thing on. Let's go in here with uh, what, what? Oh, no CPU found. Huh. I suspect perhaps I may have done something I wasn't supposed to. All right, this is one of those ones that I had going through fucking three radiators. comes out of the reservoir, goes into a radiator, comes out of the radiator, goes into another radiator, goes out of that radiator, goes into the CPU, comes out of the CPU, goes into a radiator, comes out of that radiator, goes into a radiator, comes out of that radiator, and then into the reservoir. Sweet. So that's just sort of a dead computer. That sucks. Oops. Yep. Alright. There we go. And then this one, I think, is... That's pretty ridiculous as well. Only this one has tubes going out the back <clears throat> and on the front. So let's see, it goes. All right, I have two separate loops: one for the CPU, one for the radiator. Man, that is a massive ass case, isn't it? What case is this? The Ryzen Tech and yo. Let's look that up real quick on Newegg. Let's see how much was. It says it's $500. I don't even know that'll show up on Newegg. New version of it. Shut up. No. Um. Ryzen. Alright. Nope. Great. Hit the wrong button. Do, 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 do. Do. Oh, it's the Enyo. Wow. A Goliath chassis of the open frame slash bench benching case. Well, okay, so this is the entire title of, like, the case itself. Like, you know how it's the Corsair, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, then you got the description below. No, no, this is the Enyo, a Goliath chassis of the open frame slash benching case is designed to fill, to fulfill the biggest dream of any high-end enthusiast in terms of water cooling or air cooling with the most powerful component. Great. Now well, they even advertise it with, uh, Dual reservoirs. <laughs> and it's only $369.90. Wow. Sports 615mm VGA card lengths. <laughs> Maximum of up to 23 fans, ranging from 120 to 140 millimeter. Jeebus, five radiators. Dual pump, dual power supplies, Jeebus. cable management, hiding space, nice. Two millimeter thickness, solid steel, four millimeter tempered glass. That's a huge case. Are you done? Oh, well, you are. Look at that, 7735. Thank you, Brain, for making a totally logical sentence. 7735. I do not even get that. Do I? Maybe I might actually get about that, but... Oh, you're gonna actually keep that score? Oh, fuck. Alright, whatever. Let's restart that one more time. But, uh... Anyway. I guess that's gonna do the... Mm, let's try that again. That's gonna do it for this video. Let me fix this ramp. <sighs> Hiccups. What a great time for that. Alright. Uh, the XMP going, which does not work. Oh, if anybody has any suggestions on what I need to do. I have the X470 Gaming Ultra motherboard from Gigabyte and I have I've tried doing XMP that did not work. I tried manually overclocking it several times. It did not work. It will always sit at 2133 megahertz. So if you have a suggestion, let me know. I've done all the timing shit. Ooh, that's a nice one. Um, and all that crap. So, if you know how to fix it, let me know. Um, but, uh, hmm. 
Thank you, brain. But, uh, yeah. That is going to do it for this video. So, let's get a nice shot there. Cool. But, uh, yeah, like I said, if you have any ideas on how to fix that, please let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, don't leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.